Hello and welcome to another Fire Emblem 10 hacking tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over class skills, how to change class skills. Now before you start I want to apologize for having this tutorial out a day late because I had computer issues, problems. And I was also trying to actually learn how to do some of this stuff because I have never actually, like I've said, um, one person asked me to make these toys and I said I only knew how to change stats. So I'm learning too. So it's taking a little while to figure all this stuff out. And the second thing, I'm sorry about my monotone voice. It's basically who I am. I can't change it. I'm s so I guess you guys have to deal with it. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to improve, of course. So before we start, I actually want to show you something interesting. Let's play our game. So each uh, unit gets his um, skills from two sources. He has uh, each class has its own set of skills, and each unit has its own unique skill. So if you play through uh, while you play the game, of course you can notice that some of these skills have a lock and others don't. You can kind of tell from playing that the ones with a lock is the class skills and the ones um, not our unit, actual unit skills, unique ones to them. So as you notice, Edward's missing one of his uh, crit skills. I think crit plus five. That's because I swapped it out with um, a skill called Highest, which is used internally in the game. I got these uh, names from, uh, let's see, file, if you open, any of these and you go file search find highest you do text best string here's actually a uh, bytes for highest that's an actual skill name now don't worry about these bytes they're not a point they're they're not important or anything they won't actually help you out when it comes to hacking I also um, found this view if you uh, read some of Vincent ASM's hacking notes, you see he has a nice link to a list of uh, skills. So here it is, and the highest is one of them. And then higher is a second tier outfit. So as you can notice, Edward's using his third tier outfit, but he's still a Myrmidon. So that's how they actually assign what uh, what. Uh, units look like is through uh, skills, which I found was that was pretty interesting. Yeah. So the skills I already found are Astro Crit up twenty tackle highest in Eclipse by looking at a uh, True Blades class and a Black Knight. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to find some of the find actual find the skills you're looking for. Let's say you want to find uh, the skills the assassin has. So I'm going to use that example. We're going to find his lethality skill and his crit plus 25 skill. To do that, you uh, basically need to find him his data. The easiest way to do that is uh, look up his uh, maximum values. So the class is maximum values and convert it to hex. We're gonna get started, so I'm gonna go to the top, file search, find, and hex values. So here he is. Now if you notice, looking at uh Vincent ASM's hacking notes, all the skills are located eight bytes between between uh, these two zeros, blank spots. Now these blank spots can uh, the end can get to by looking at the uh, taking going to units max stats and going back eight bytes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bytes. So how did I do that? Find that out. Um, basically, here's where we started. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bytes. So this is a uh, the skills now. This is a uh, class. Is all of his skills are right here between these sets of zeros and these sets of zeros. As you can notice, 
Each skill is set of four bytes, and this class, of course, has three skills, as it's uh, showed here. One, two, three. Now, that's not always going to be the case. Some classes only have one or two skills, so they were, if they had one skill, they wouldn't have four bytes here. If they had two, they would have eight bytes. So, as I can tell from my notes, um, my notes shove is tackle is right here one two three four bytes and here's a here <laughs> here is a class I mean skill here's a skill and here's a skill not really sure why there's four maybe there's a hidden skill somewhere that will be kind of cool if we can figure that out so copy Boom. So I'm going to separate these by four bytes. Ding, doom, and boom. And we know this one right here matches this one, so that's shove. Now, to actually test out which skill, see what skill is which, you can basically have to set the skill to a unit in game and basically just see what it is. It's all trial and error. So that's why these notes documentation is important. So we're going to go f search, um, we're going to ch edit Edward's uh, starting class Myrmidon, because, uh, you know, I'm still on the first level. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, boom. And my mouse just turned off, of course. Okay, there. So boom. So we go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here's all of his uh classes for the the skills for this class. It's all right here. As you notice there's only eight bytes, so he only has two skills. As it's mentioned right here, Fire Emblem ten, seven, critical plus five. So basically we're gonna um we know this one's shove and we know this one is uh well, in this case, because I hacked the game, that one would be the the uh, actually that would be his uh, crit plus five because it's an unhacked file. So what's basically copy and paste this here? These four, first four, boom, and then boom. So that's two. We added his two skills. So I'm gonna go file, save as. Tutorial hack zero zero. Okay. Let's see. So we made our hack. What's gonna have to test it? Test it to see what skills we apply to him. So let's see. Uh, have to compress the file first, of course, like we always done. Compressor, we can of course open up a uh, we scrubber. I also want to show you something else interesting. That if you try to run the ROM while you have uh, the ROM, ROM loaded in we scrubber, it's not going to work. I'll show you that quickly. I'm going to get an error. So make sure you always close out of it. So boom, replace. Tutorial hack zero compressed. So we're placing the right file. Yep. Let it. Mm -hmm. All right. File open. Let's play our game. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Sometimes it crashes if you edit the wrong bytes. You get warnings and errors. While trying to play the game, that's not good. Okay. Start. Hmm. We gave him wrath and crit twenty five. Let's see. One, two, 
Hm. Yep. So he has that hidden skill, which uh, we, I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's left. I don't actually know what this one is. I'm just gonna put it as a question mark. But it's good news because we do know this one is a uh, crit up 25. That means this other one has to be a uh, lethality, whatever it's called, but I can't pronounce it. So we can actually test that out, just to make sure. As you notice, he can't shove anymore, so that's kind of not cool, but whatever. I never really use shove anyway. File, save as. I'm gonna call this 01. I have to exit out of the game, of course. Now, let's see. File. Compress the file. Compress. Yep. Sorry if I'm a little slow today. I'm just tired. Just trying to figure all this out. You know, kind of exhausting when you... Keep getting errors and the game crashes because you edit the wrong data. Not sure if that happened to you guys yet. But, oh. <clears throat> Never said this was easy. <laughs> All right. Let's hope he has his uh, skill. Do do do. Let's play the game. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Here's his skills we gave him. Kind of funny though, his, uh, his capacity is uh, 15, but this requires 30 spots. So that's kind of funny, but that's kind of cool too. Now, let's just see him fight. He probably won't activate any of these skills, but whatever. Anyway guys, that's the tutorial. That's how you can find uh, skills, the pointer slash ID skills, and how to actually set uh, class skills. Remember to document, document this. So let's um, type in. Boom. It'll, it just beats up hacking. Make sure you can document things and makes things easier to read. If you're like trying to look for things. Anyway, um. Was, like I said, I am apologize for getting this toy out a little late, but I was actually working on other things for this series. I got, um, first one was, uh, more weapon stuff. I got the description and the name of the file. I'm able to change that, but I can't actually find out how to change the actual mesh model. And I think that's due to, due to uh, because in some games, most games, um, all the weapons the character uses is attached to their mesh and basically Edward wouldn't have a Miss Sword's uh, sword attached to him so they just basically just use the iron sword or whatever you edited it. Um, possibly that's the um, reason, I'm not really sure but I'm gonna just look further into that and the second thing I was editing was a uh, class max stats. Every time I change them, 
I kept getting them all zero, so it's kind of weird I'm looking into that, but hopefully I can figure that out for the next tutorial, or a tutorial in the future. In the next tutorial, I'm hopefully going to cover actual unit scales. Hopefully that would work. It's kind of a little harder because you see this blank here. It's separated, but there's no separation up here. It's just boom, weapon ranks, then scales. It's kind of a little hard to figure out which one's which. That's why you can document them. You should actually document these right here. So, Sid Hero would be this uh, ID slash pointer. Well, I guess see you guys in the next one. And thanks for watching.